So in this clip, we'll talk about the concept of comparative advantage. Comparative advantage explains why there are gains from trade in a world with two countries uh, and one factor, two goods, uh, why there are gains from trade in such a world even if one of the countries is more efficient at producing both goods. Uh, so that at first sight seems counterintuitive but is principally fairly straightforward. We'll try to set out this, uh, the, the argument here. So we have two countries, both one factor, which is labor, and two goods, uh, which we'll call guns and butter. Now the labor constraint, LG plus LB equal to L, so we'll have a full employment assumption here uh, that all the resources available are used up either in producing guns or producing butter. Uh, and we have um, <coughs> together, so the labor constraint together with um, linear technology, namely A equal to L over Q or L equal to A Q gives us uh, A G Q G plus A B Q B equal to L as the production possibility frontier for the home country. So we'll call the one country home and then we'll have a second country that has an analog our production possibility frontier AG star QG star plus AB star QB star equal to L star for the foreign country. So uh, we can solve out these relationships for uh, QG and QG star in terms of QB and QB star so that we can graph it. And I'll go to a new page and uh, uh, do that, making um, some assumptions along the way about the type of economies that we're dealing with. So first we'll get Holmes PPF uh, and I'll put the quantity of guns produced on the vertical axis and the quantity of butter produced on this axis. And then we'll uh, make the assumption that we have a fairly shallow slope so that AB over AG uh, is less than 1 and <coughs> the opportunity cost of a unit of butter in terms of guns uh, is not too high. So that's how Holmes PPF look, looks and, and now on the other side here we get Foreign's PPF where we'll, we'll draw as well uh, the two axes and QG star here and QB star here and then we'll, we'll draw this a PPF with a fairly steep slope uh, apparently drawn scale larger than 1 a, AB star over AG star um, but uh, furthermore, um, with the foreign uh, production possibility frontier uh, much closer to the origin. Uh, now, what are the implications of uh, the situation here as drawn? So, um, if the home country were to put all its resources towards producing guns, uh, and the foreign country were to do the same, the uh, home country would outperform uh, outperform the foreign country uh, fairly fairly clear. Uh, similarly, though, uh, if the home country were to put all its resources to produce butter, and the foreign country were to do the same, uh, the home country would outperform the foreign country. So, what does that mean? That means that home has apparently an absolute advantage absolute advantage in both sectors 
The question that arises then is, uh, who has the comparative advantage and how can there be gains from trade um, if the home country is better at both? So let me just write that down here, comparative advantage. Which country has a comparative advantage in which sector? That's a question. We'll try to answer that and to do so I'll flip to a new page and uh, we'll consider the labor input requirements in a little more detail. So uh, there are a couple ways uh, to look at this. First, uh, let's consider again the uh, idea of absolute advantage. In terms of the labor input requirements, that just means that AG is less than AB, uh, sorry, of course, AG star, and AB is less than AB star. So the home country is better, is more efficient. It needs less labor to produce both goods. Now, for comparative advantage, we need to consider the relative the relative position of the two countries. As the name says, uh, absolute versus relative. So, um, there are a couple different ways to do that. First, let's compare the slopes of the production possibility frontier. So let's compare, that's not what I wanted. I want to flip back to the previous page. So let's compare these two ratios, AB over AG, the slope of Holmes production possibility frontier and AB star over AG star, the, the uh, slope of Forens PPF. Now, strictly speaking, I'm comparing the absolute value of the slopes, but that's fine. So we get AB over AG smaller, it's flatter than AB star over AG star. What does it mean? Just read the line from left to right. Well, it means that uh, we have lower relative labor input requirements in the home country at home in butter production lower relative labor input requirements it means as well if you read it from uh, right to left it means that we have uh, higher opportunity cost in the foreign country in butter. So you see where we're going with this. Uh, we've denoted, I'm going to go flip back to the previous page again. The slope indicates the opportunity cost of a unit, a barrel of butter in terms of guns. That ratio is higher in the foreign country. So the opportunity cost higher is higher in the foreign country uh, um, for butter. You see where we're going with this. Uh, the home country has the comparative advantage in butter production, but there's another way to look at that, uh, which might be uh, illustrative. So if we just uh, take the inverse of these ratios on the A that we're considering here, and uh, keep in mind the definition of what the labor input coefficient is, it's easy to see that uh, this is really QB over LB divided by QG over LG, which is the relative labor productivity in the home country for butter production. So since we're inverting these ratios, we'll we have to flip the uh, inequality sign and we get the equivalent for the foreign country 
with the starred variables QG star over LB star so that we have higher relative labor productivity let me write it out higher relative labor productivity at home in butter so uh, all of this together makes it quite clear I'm gonna zoom out a little bit here all of this together makes it quite clear that well the home country has the comparative advantage in butter now if we just were to uh, read th read this make this argument just in reverse it would tell us simply uh, the reverse namely that the foreign country foreign has the comparative advantage in guns go through that exercise if you look at AG star over AB star uh, compared to AG over AB well you know, AG star over AB star must be smaller than AG over AB so there are lower relative labor input requirements in the foreign country in the gun sector so foreign has the comparative advantage in gun production even though it has an absolute disadvantage in both sectors and the fact that in relative terms both countries have uh, advantages uh, produces the gains from trade so foreign can uh, specialize in producing guns and the home country can specialize in producing butter and both countries can benefit from that that's the idea of comparative advantage